Uncovered Anarchast Podcast. Occupy Wall Street organizer Kale Lawson. Anarchism, uh, the very essence of anarchism is uh, is sort of a free-for-all kind of a uh, spirit and and uh, and it's quite obvious that uh, that every every person who leans towards uh, an anarchist kind of philosophy or, or an anarchist way of life that they will have their own very special special kind of anarchism and some people will will go the the sort of the gentler route and other people will go the angry route and and uh, and people like David Graeber the the one of the anarchists that I that I really admired over the last few years and the guy who helped us uh, uh, launch Occupy Wall Street uh, uh, you know, ten, almost ten years ago, uh, he had his own kind of academic kind of anarchism. So, so yeah, so anarchism by its very essence is is is, is varied, but uh, but there is a kind of a, a free for all essence to it all. Does that lead to sometimes conflict in philosophy? For example, with Occupy Wall Street, would how would you characterize Occupy Wall Street in the genre of anarchism? Well, it was. Uh, a historical sort of opportunistic moment when when uh, when the arab spring was was uh, was uh, and uh, it was was percolating around the, the, the middle east and 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 uh, and tyrants like like mubarak were were uh, were falling and 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 it felt like uh, like the the will of the people and 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 the rising up of the people in the Middle East could really change the, the geopolitics, uh, and uh, and in America that uh, that feeling of what was happening in the Middle East was also it was infectious and it sort of infected a lot of young people in 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 the United States who uh, who at that time you know after that meltdown the financial meltdown they were feeling really disillusioned and and there was this feeling like 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 fuck you know if 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 it can happen in the Middle East, then why can't it happen in, in America as well? And that's why at that very opportunistic moment, we were able to uh, sort of co- come up with this, this meme, or actually I call it the meta meme, uh, uh, this idea that, uh, that why can't we start an insurrection in the very, very heart of global capitalism on Wall Street? And, and, uh, uh, and 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 because the timing was right, and because the the mood of the the young people in America was right, I think that uh, that a lot of young people suddenly sort of took a bit of an, an, an anarchist kind of a turn, and they were willing to sleep in parks and and willing to 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 march in the streets and and basically stand up against this uh, this this uh, financial global system that uh, that was uh, stopping us from living our lives. Is it racism? Is it uh... A lack of financial opportunity is it? Uh, uh, what what do you mm. think people are respond responded to back in 2011 and are responding to right now? Mm. Well, uh, of course there are all these little subsets. You know, there's the the racism and there's the the the, the sort of the relationship between males and females and and there are oppressive regimes and and there are are are. are are sort of uh, semi-fascist type people like Trump, and there's all kinds of shit happening all over the place. But I think the what is really uh, at the very bottom of it all is this feeling, especially among young people, that the future doesn't compute, that that we don't actually have any future right now, that. Uh, that uh, the global uh, global warming is is, is uh, the, the planet is getting hotter and hotter and nobody seems to know how to fix it and there's a lot of pontification going on and people uh, you know people coming up with all kinds of uh, carbon taxes and, and and other ways to fix it but the, the gut feeling in in the stomach of a lot of people is that 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 this is not going to fix it that we're actually going to get hotter and hotter and hotter and and there's going to be a hell to pay down the road that we're basically creating a, a pressure cooker out of our planet uh, and and then so that's that's one one aspect of it this this ecological echo aspect but uh, but there's also uh, uh, psychological component. There's a, there's a lot of people that are living in this uh, this post-truth era and 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 uh, the plus and minus and yes and no and and good and and bad and and right and wrong is all getting muddied in our heads and and there's a kind of an exponential rise in 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 mood disorders and depressions and anxiety attacks among young people and so we have a sort of a mental health epidemic uh, and, uh, and 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 people feel feel 
feel really, you know, feel, people feel depressed and they, they figure they have to do something about it. Um, so, and then on the financial front, we, we know that the global uh, financial system is unstable. It could collapse at any time. Um, the, 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 mm. the sort of uh, financial meltdown that we had in uh, 10 years ago in 2008, you know, uh, somehow it was solved, we squeaked by, but we know that, you know, you can wake up tomorrow morning and and, uh, uh, and find out that the Dow Jones just went down 10,000 points and we're back into a 1929 kind of a scenario. So so, so basically on the, on the ecological front, on the psychological front, on, on the financial front, on the corporate front where a lot of uh, mega corporations are just walking all over us and we don't seem to know how to fight back. So, uh, so, so basically, um, we, we are in a situation where uh, uh, a lot of people can't quite make sense of it. You know, they can't quite put their finger on it and, and say it's, it's the echo or the psycho or this. But they just have this generalized feeling that, that we don't have a future, that we, have, that we are in a no future kind of a scenario. The future doesn't compute. And somehow, you know, we, we're sort of struggling to figure out how to fix it. And so young people say no more for the most part. We've seen that out in the street. It's most it's it's largely driven by the passion of young people, and they say yeah, right down to the say. right down to the high school kids now, right? Uh, yeah, well, I was in uh, Rochester and I saw kids uh, skateboarding by me that were, were seemed even younger than that. So it's it's impressive, mm. and I noticed that in Minneapolis as well as I was reviewing reviewing the video that you you had. You yeah, they understand young... that they don't have a future. They, they they get it. They understand that if unless something um, something really big happens, unless we sort of come up with a few big ideas, few meta memes, and start veering the the planet in a whole new direction, then then then, then they won't have a future. So you know you can be in primary school. And, and understand that. The, the, as I said earlier, the, the very essence of anarchism is, is, a, is, is a wild, free-for-all kind of a spirit, you know, that, uh, that, that uh, you know, where you trust your own guts and you trust the fact that your feet are on the ground and you, you trust the, the, what, what's going on in your brain and, and, and you just go for stuff. You, 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 you have a certain, you know, to, you know to, to me, anarchism is sort of a, a fearless, fuck-it-all kind of an attitude. Uh, and I think that's exactly the sort of attitude that we need, you know, to, to implement those meta-memes and to and to via this human experiment of ours on planet Earth onto a sane, sustainable path. So you know, so when you start using words like school of thought, then then I feel like you know reaching for my revolver. <laughs> well, if I am somebody who doesn't have a revolver, if I'm a person of peace who is a pacifist, an anarcho pacifist, does that put me at odds with the current of anarchism? If one group is saying not at all. Not at all. I mean, you can, if you're a radical pacifist, then, then that, that may be one of the best, uh, you know, best kinds of, of, of uh, anarchist spirits, you know. So, so yeah, so there's a myriad anarchist spirits and, and, and radical uh, peacefulness is, is absolutely one of them. I feel that but, me. But, but, I, but I think it's a mistake to, to, to you know, to think about anarchism as a, as a you know, divided up into categories. I, I, I hate categories. Wow. I think that the very, very essence of anarchism is not to have categories. I see. Are there uh, dynamics, though? Are there regional dynamics in anarchism? For example, what we see in the Pacific Northwest versus what we might see on the East Coast versus what your local scene is in Vancouver? Yeah, of course. I mean, every, you know, every environment, uh, every culture, uh, uh, you know, it it it, uh, it nurtures its own kind of of of, uh, of spirit and its own kind of uh, politics and its own kind of uh, ways of getting things done and and, and of course uh, its its own kind of uh, anarchist spirit as well. So that's that's quite obvious. I mean, you can't expect. Uh, you know, uh, me who grew up in, in, in you know, uh, after the Second World War and grew up in, in Australia and grew up in and spent a long time in Japan and, and has lived for the last uh, 30 years in, 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 in the Pacific Northwest, you can't expect me to have the same kind of a spirit as, as, as somebody who, who grew, you know, who's been strutting his stuff, you know, for the last 30 years in Austin, Texas. I mean, it's quite obvious that there's going to be shades of, 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 of the, the, that the anarchist spirit will have sh different shades. When anarchist spirit becomes direct action, we see a lot in the current movement and or movements that acceptance of diversity of tactics. If one is aligned peacefully 
and is next to somebody who is uh, aligned not peacefully, how does one reconcile the, the uh, conflict in, in diversity of spirit? Well, I don't think there's anything there to reconcile. Uh, I think, the, for example, take the example. Currently, we're in a, in a uh, America. The, you know, uh, is, is in a in a kind of a situation where your very uh, democracy is imperiled, and there's a possibility that uh, uh, you know that on the November the fourth, you know, one day after the after the the election, that that uh, that your president will suddenly declare victory and and say that uh, uh, those. Uh, those mail-in votes that are still to come in, that they don't count and they're fraudulent and, and, and therefore, uh, you know, I have won the election. Uh, and, uh, and to fight back against that. So the question becomes, okay, so, so what, do, what do the people of America do about that? Do they just sort of, um, just sort of uh, roll over and take it and, or, or do they fight back in some way? And, and I think, uh, you know, anarchism, the, the anarchist spirit has a lot, uh, a lot to, a lot of, a lot of uh, tactics to, to play here. And, and I think all tactics are are are, uh, are are okay, you know. So the, you know, the, the radical pacifist, you know, will 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 uh, will will do stuff in 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 his or her own you know special way, and 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 females will do it in a special way, and males will do it in a special way, and there's going to be some really angry spirits who'll go out there and start, and, and perhaps uh, uh, you know try to lay a siege on the White House, and 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 there's going to be. Uh, and I, I welcome that whole rainbow all the way from the, you know, from the most uh, most radically pacifist uh, um, spirits, you know, on, on one side, all the way through to the angry revolutionary spirits on the other side. I think we need all of them working together, uh, you know, for the for a single uh, to a single purpose, which is to 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 make sure that. Uh, that the American democracy doesn't get hijacked, you know, by, by this, uh, this, this, uh, this guy called Trump. As an anarchist, do you vote? Of course. Yeah, you do anything. Yeah. You vote. Of course you vote. You vote. And, but uh, even though you vote, you also have um, perhaps larger, uh, larger dreams of, of where the country could go. So, so, but, uh, but I would say that, uh, that, uh, that voting is, is probably the, the simplest way that the, the anarchist, anarchist spirit can, can give expression to, to, to how they feel. Uh, but there's lots of other things that they can do as well that, that are probably ultimately uh, more consequential. Now, if I'm an anarcho-pacifist and I see something in the street that I don't agree on, I don't agree with, and I feel compelled to intervene, how does that affect my relationship with fellow anarchists? Well, you're going to have a butting of the heads. You're going to have a bit of a fight, uh, and hopefully it doesn't get too violent. Um, it's uh, it's quite normal, you know. You can't expect uh, everybody on the street suddenly to be of exactly the same mind, you know. As I said earlier, there's a there's a there's a there's a whole rainbow uh, of tactics, and 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 uh, and there's going to be conflict uh, conflicts among the tactics to decide which. You know which tactics are allowed and which aren't, and which are good and which aren't, and, and which which work and which don't. So, so I, I think that you know, uh, you know, you know, we anarchists, you know, we sort of embrace it all, and and uh, and don't uh, and don't think too much about the, uh, you know, or don't worry too much about the fact that there's going to be a few heavy duty tussles along the way. I see, I see. Well, in the current climate, are you willing to speak at all about the dynamics and how proposing an occupation in the capital of the United States has been received and what you think has been understood and what you think has been misunderstood? Are you talking about our current uh, White House siege uh, campaign? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, uh, when we first came up with our tactical briefing number one, uh, a couple of weeks ago, then, then it uh, it and it 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 sort of suddenly catapulted into a into this incredible level of of hate uh, hate mail that we got, uh, um, and uh, it was a very violent hate mail that basically threatened to come and undo us in, and and it was these a uh, few of those white supremacist groups that were suddenly realised that a siege on the White House is 
you know, is this something that uh, that, that they have to fight back against? And and we got like a uh, two or three thousand hate mails and 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 and, and, and hundreds of thousands of of, of of hard hits on 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 the, on the social media. Uh, but um, and and uh, uh, but then after that, uh, uh, you know, Trump Trump kept on coming up with. With you know his constant barrage of of hints about uh, about the fact that he really will try to steal the election, uh, and uh, and especially during the debate uh, that happened um, that, that the presidential debate with with him and Biden a, a couple of days ago, um, all of a sudden when he made that comment about the Proud Boys, then all of a sudden it became crystal clear to to some of us anyway that. Uh, that he actually will try to steal the election, that that's part of his... He knows that he's going to lose the election, and he knows that he has to sort of uh, make sure that the mail-in votes aren't counted. Uh, and, and so he's going to try to use the, you know, the, 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 all those proud boys kind of uh, uh, people who he, who he knows are kind of behind him, and he's going to try to create some sort of chaotic uh, uh, experience for, uh, for America and, and, and create total confusion, and that that will be his, his attempt to, uh, to steal the election. Uh, and all all of a sudden, this idea that um, that uh, that uh, you know I don't know we on the left or we anarchists or, or we the people that that feel that uh, Trump is a existential threat to the very essence of of, of the United States of America uh, that that we you know all of a sudden uh, that, that siege on the White House started feeling like a like something that we should start planning for you know that if if Trump we have to each one of us we have to ask ourselves. What are we going to do on, on, on November the 4th if Trump actually declares victory? We have to figure that one out. We can't just say, oh, uh, I'll worry about it when the time comes. No, no, we have to think about it right now. And we have to figure out what, what our plan of action will be and, and who is going to uh, you know, be radically peaceful and who is going to be uh, you know, uh, you know, dashing off to Washington, D.C. And, 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 and preparing for some sort of a, a nonviolent uh, uh, carnivalesque uh, uh, siege you know, on, on the whole uh, seat of, 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 uh, of, of Congress. That was Kale Lassen of Adbusters, organizers of Occupy Wall Street. It was nice that he accepts my anarcho-pacifistic spirit, whereas others don't. But as he said, you're going to have a butting of heads, and we see that. But you know what? This is something my dad said tonight. He said, there's no more bullshit when you go into the street. It's not a trope. It's fucking reality. So what you see out there... What actually happens? It's the anarchist way, in my opinion, to be truthful. Not to propagandize, not to slander or smear. That's my opinion. And just because somebody else has another opinion that doesn't match your opinion, or God forbid the opinion of somebody you follow, it's up to you how much time you want to dedicate to butting heads. Or to freeing yourself from the influence of coercive authority, online and anywhere else. Uncovered in our cast podcast.